Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian from T-Sportline, and thanks again for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to introduce our MagSafe phone mount for Cybertruck and the charging option. So if you've got an iPhone or an Android, this will work for either of you, and you've got your, your Cybertruck, this is gonna be the phone mount that I think is gonna be best. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First of all, you know that in the Cybertruck, you can charge your phone up here down in this basket. It's a MagSafe type charging unit. But when you're driving the Cybertruck, it's really not ideal if you're using Waze or something or you wanna see your phone, it's not a great position. So with the mount that we have, we're gonna move the phone where it mounts right up here. So it's in your driver's view and it's away from the steering yoke here and you have two options you can either have just the mount or the charger let's take a look up here at the parts i've got two kits up here let's start with the basic kit this is the magsafe mount kit so basically you get a magnetic magsafe mount unit which articulates really in any direction you want and if you move back here i'll show you we will put the adhesive on the back of the screen, and I've actually got it up there right now. And then you can set this wherever you want it. If you wanna put it down here, up here, around the top, it's really gonna be up to you. You can put your phone up like this, down here, down low. We'll go through all that option for you. So the basic kit is what you see up here, the MagSafe mount, it comes with magnetic rings, so if you have an older phone that doesn't have MagSafe built in, you get these adhesive rings that stick to the back of your phone or the back of your case. You've got an alcohol prep pad where you can clean off the back of your phone or clean off the surface that you're gonna mount to. We actually have ours mounted, I'm not sure you can see it, but this is the mount that comes with the kit. We've pre-installed it here. It uses 3M double-sided tape and you get an extra double-sided tape with the kit. So if you put it on and decide you wanna switch cars or move it around, you've got an extra one in there. Then optionally, we offer the MagSafe charger, and this will just swap onto the head of the MagSafe mount, and this is USB-C powered. We include the USB-C cable, and we're gonna go through how to route that wire in your Cybertruck. When we go to put this on the back of the screen, it's important to get this washer lined up properly. So I'm gonna open up my mount. I'm gonna orient it the way I want it to go on. And then the side of the washer with the little dots on it is gonna face this mount because those dots, those are detents that are gonna lock this in place. So when I put it on, I'm gonna put the washer on this mount so that the dots are facing the base plate. Come in here and you can see that's lined up now. Take the threaded nut, round nut thing, put that on. Now that we've got it loosely in place, you can pick where you want the mount. Some people may want it down here. You can go in out, you could come up here. For me, it's all personal choice, but I want this to be basically close to, the, close to the factory screen and slightly below it. So I'm gonna get it close to where I want it and start tightening up that nut. Okay. And then final adjustment. This is just an articulating head. You can get it to where it's perfectly aligned. And then on the, back of, on the back of this, just tighten that nut once you have this where you want it. That's it. So you can see it's a really good setup. It's not in the way of my hands. It's not in the way of the view. And it's right next to the screen. That does it for the basic mount. Now this is not the charging mount. To do the charging mount, we're gonna unscrew the nut on the back of this and then just pop this off okay I'm gonna grab the MagSafe mount take this off put it over the ball snap the MagSafe mount on and then 
I'll tighten up this threaded nut on the back. Same process, let me figure out where I want this. That's where I want that. So now I'm gonna tighten the nut on the back in this position. Make sure everything's tight. Okay. That's good. Next, let's get into the wiring. Let's power this up. We, we include a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is the proper length to route this in your Cybertruck. We just open this up. Find the first end. I'm gonna plug it into my MagSafe charger here. Okay. And then I'm going to take the cable, route it around the back just to get it out of the way. You can route it however you like, but if you look from the front, I like the way the cable's out of the way. And it wraps around the back of the mount. I'm going to test this before I go routing the wire. So we're gonna open up the glove box, pull out this little tray and plug in down here. And if you look up now, you can see powered right up. So let me do that again. When you plug it in, powers up, take my phone, set it on there and I'm charging. Perfect. Let's get into routing the wire. Now, we're gonna come around to the other side and show you how we route this to get into the glove box. There's really no wrong way on how to route your wire. We're gonna show you what I think is the easiest and most common way to do this, but feel free to route it however you want. If you're real OCD, you can really tuck it in and get it back here. But the easiest path and I think the most common one is what we'll show today. So the wire comes down. We're just gonna pull it down here. And the back of this trim on the center tray is pretty easy. To, to just pop the wire behind that edge. So there's really no magic to that. You can see how I just tucked it over the edge and I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna come down here, basically do that underneath the mat. And you can tr tuck that down all the way back here. Go behind the seat belt. And then I'm gonna to come to the back corner of the center console, this little bit of trim, tuck it right under that trim. And it, you'll see the wire comes into the glove box right here. There's no trouble with the closing and opening. I've routed it into the box. It's plugged into the USB in there. We can drop our factory tray back in here. And that's it, it's really that simple. You can spend as much time as you want tucking it in, but you can see that was about a five minute job to install this phone mount. We've got this completely set up, ready to go. So let us know what you think. We'd love to hear your comments below. If, and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got a lot more Cybertruck content coming your way soon. Thanks everybody.